Hello, beautiful people. My name is Nistaku, and welcome to another session of Corpse Party. Um, we explored everywhere, I thought, and I guess we can go back out. There was an earthquake. I don't really know if there even is a point to go back here. Because I swear I thought I looked at everything in the floor. Oh! It is a good reason to. Yuka. Aww. <laughs> Yuka, does your stomach hurt? She's gotta pee! Aww. I'm gonna pee myself! It's okay. That bad, huh? I'm not sure what we can do about it, though. It's the bucket time. Oh, stop your whining! I'll get you a bucket! Uh, it's gotta hurt. It that having to pee and holding it for a while. Are you going to be all right? Thank you. I'll be okay. All right, let's take her to the bucket. Um, I when I was a kid, I used to hold uh, using the bathroom a lot, especially if we were like at a movie theater. Every single time I had to go right before the movie, but I was like, nah, I got it. So I would hold it for a while, which is really unhealthy. <laughs> so I don't recommend it. Um, and like road trips too. I used to take a lot of road trips. And for some reason I was like, nah, I got this. I got this. I want to hold it. The rest of bucket on the ground. It's empty. Come on, Yuka. <laughs> Yuka, just use the, okay. All right. Uh, okay. So I guess we're just, Exploring around. We still haven't seen more Shige. Um, I'm assuming it's a good reason why we came back here, though, because we wouldn't have gotten the Yuka scene. This back door, it's locked, right? Yeah, no way to open it. Okay. We can check the cafeteria. We can check, I guess, all around here, but if I don't see any changes, I'm probably gonna cut it soon. Okay, there's nothing up here. Um, I guess I'm just gonna head to the cafeteria. We could also check it to see if that cabinet moved. There was that cabinet, if you guys remember, that was kind of on the bridge of this, uh, upper part here that we weren't able to cross. Let me check that real quick, actually. Is the cabinet still there? Yeah. What are we supposed to do? We don't have any items. Um, is there anyone in the cafeteria now? No. That sucks. It sucks that Morishige's gone. I don't know why he would separate. That was so stupid. No, there's nothing here. Hmm. I guess I I don't I don't really know where else to go. The objective is really weird. I thought the objective was to find a place where you could pee in, but now it's like we have this entire second wing. I and then the earthquakes. The earthquakes are throwing me off really bad. Oh, oh, I don't like that. That was so creepy. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just recheck the perimeter. I don't see what could change, though. Oh, there was the girl, right? What happened to the, the girl? The girl was... I don't remember where that girl was. Was she... She was being chased, right? Oh, no. She was being chased, and then we saved, and we talked to her. Didn't she run away again? I think that's what happened. I have, like, the worst memory. Oh! Is this new? I- it, did the bathroom- is this- is this new? The door doesn't seem like it even has a lock, yet it's not budging the slightest bit. Its entire surface is littered with protective paper charms. Spiritual confinement, Buddha's guardianship, banishment of malice, charm of exorcism, metaphysical barrier. What the heck? Why all the protective seals? Is there something inside? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Yuka! You could just pee in that hole, man! Yeah. Look, you really shouldn't hold it this long. It's bad for the bladder. Why don't you just go in the corner? <laughs> You have to, Yuka! How about outside, then? In the woods along the walkway? That should be fine, right? Okay, okay. 
All right, we have a mission. All right, we go. We go outside. Well, just hold it, you got It's gonna be okay. She has a strong will, though. She has a very strong will to want to do all that. All right, we're almost there, Yuka. Just, just hold it. Twist your legs up a little. Uh, where are we? Uh, what is uh? Ah, uh, no, that's the boy. Ah, sorry, so sorry, Yuka. I'm a little lost. Do we have to go down one more floor? Uh, do we? We do. We do. Do? Ooh, did we read this already? Oh no, we didn't. Cold hurts to move fingers. No strength to write on desk. Cannot talk or see friend. Tendon and leg cut. Oh! Bleeding badly. Is this her? Female student's corpse lies sprawled out on the floor. There are a couple scraps of papers from the letter set gently resting atop her bony hand. Luck is fickle, but I still have faith in it. That good luck charm. I know it's stupid, but I truly believe it works. So I know I'll see you again, Mao. And if anyone else's friend finds this letter, please wish her good luck for me. Kaori Kimura, class 2-4, Lexern High. Oh, we're one more away though. Sorry, you guys, I had to read that. I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you, you had to hold it during my little reading session, but I'm going to take you outside. I swear. I just have to remember here. Here we go. Yes. Okay. It's all you. I'll be waiting right here. Shouldn't have any trouble getting over the fence, right? I think I can do it. You can literally just pee like right. Oh, creepy. If anything happens, yell really loud and I'll come get you, okay? Okay. You'll be fine! Just make sure you squat. Oh, we're Yuka! Hey! <laughs> That's cute. I'm Yuka. Do do do. Oh. Oh, come on. It's taller than I thought. Can I really get over it? Aren't you like 13? See? Oh, oh. What was that? What's the blue flag? <gasps> hey! Hey, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, Satoshi? You said you wouldn't leave me! What an awful brother. Big brother? Big brother, where are you? Oh, are we in a different- are we in a different realm? No. Did we- did, did her just going outside really just put her in a different scenario? That's awful. Yuka cannot handle this by herself. Oh. <laughs> No, I can't feel bad for her. All she does is cry. You have to be strong, Yuka. Hey, okay. All right, a little, little, little bit of girl time. Listen, just me and you, Yuka. We got this. We got this. <laughs> oh, poor Yuka. Why don't we go back outside? Is the girl still there? No. Oh, yes. Uh, I kind of, I kind of want to... Should I mess with her? I'm going to. What if she just wants to hang out? Maybe she's good. You want a hug? Get back. Get back. Oh. Oh, yep, that's an ending. It's a good thing I saved. Huh? Where? We're getting buried a lot. It must be night time. Must have woken up in the middle of the night again. <laughs> Probably drink too much juice before bed. 
Wow, you're really comfortable. <laughs> so I'm up anyway. Guess I'll wake Big Brother and bug him a little before I go back to sleep. Oh, of course. Oh, the scissors! And maybe drink a nice big glass of peach juice, too. Yeah, that sounds good. Does she think she's home? Get back. Oh. I don't like the audio. It's going, like, around my head. What? Oh. Oh, <laughs> so creepy. Hello. Jeez, uh, her tongue's gone. You can see, like, the little meatiness of it. Spirit of a little girl appears right in front of Yuka's face, glowing a bluish white. Where the left eye should be, only a gaping, empty socket has, can be seen. Oh, I forgot to. Yeah, her eye's gone. <laughs> It doesn't look too bad! Stop it! <laughs> the disquieting snip-snip sound grows ever louder as the spirit draws nearer and presents the item she holds in her hand. It's a pair of sewing scissors. I just realized something. Her, um... Sorry for for cutting it off. Her wrists, her wrists are like, actually have like, uh, marks on it. Which you, you like, bound with a rope, I guess? It's a pair of sewing scissors. And she's brandishing them dangerously close to Yuka's face. <laughs> Yuka, back up! The inner blades are dull, rusty, and caked with blood. Oh, There's a little doubt that the following events are going to be unimaginably excruciating. It's okay, just close your eyes, Yuka. Oh, she's going for the eye? The girl repeats her futile demand over and over again, bringing the blades closer and closer and closer each time. I wish we could see the scissors in her hand in this photo. Aww. I can't move, big brother. Oh. Get it to me! Yuka's left eye offers little resistance as the jagged, blood-soaked blade is plunged deep within. Oh! Ew! Her vision runs red as waves of unbearable agony trigger unconscious screams of primal, nearly animalistic torment. Oh! She instinctively reaches up to pull the scissors out. But just touching them lightly causes new jolts of torturous misery to flow through her body. Oh! <laughs> Yuka's going through it! Oh, the sound of a foreign- Yuka, you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down, Yuka. The sound of a foreign object scraping against her cranium echoes through her, her mind mercilessly. Not from her eardrums, but directly to her brain. Oh! Oh! I hate if anything happens, like, I hate the dentist severely. Like, anything that happens by my eyes, like, in my face, I hate it. No other experience could possibly have prepared her for this. It's all the suffering of the world, coalescent, coalesced into a single moment. Gosh, man! The pain- You got- you got- I can't read with you screaming. Let it out! The pain grows exponentially worse with each heartbeat, yet the trauma of the experience makes the heartbeat faster, <laughs> creating an endless cycle. Why doesn't she take the eye? It's not something you can adapt to. It's not something you can ignore. All you can do is thank heaven above when you finally die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, she's quiet. Ooh. What? More snipping? You're not done? Get it back. Get it back. She going to go for the tongue next? Oh. Is it over? Ah! Ha -ha. Four fingers! I saw that.
Well, that was enjoyable. That was fun. Did you guys enjoy that? A little, little bit of a reading moment. Love that. All right. Uh, let's let's go back to being uh, good old Yuka, and let's not go outside. All right. We know that falls over. Might as well. Oh no! Get over it, Yuka. Actually, I'm gonna save. Um, Yuka, there's worst. I actually just witnessed you go through worst, so I think we should be a little grateful right now. As we go in here, oh, we can. Mm, nope, stalls are bad. I, I mean, you're by yourself now, Yuka. You could just like go anywhere. You can go at the beginning of a doorway and make it like a little slippery trap. Can we go? Nothing changed down here, I bet. Yeah. Okay. Where does it want us to go? Can we go to the principal's office. I feel like that's a good place to look. Cause that was one thing that was locked, right? Principal office! Ding dong! No entry permitted. Okay. Why don't we go in the girl bathroom by- Oh, it doesn't budge, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Again? Again! Morishige! That's the new girl! That was the girl that died! Well, they didn't die. We didn't know if she died. She was the one screaming. Your when she had a sister. <laughs> He's got some sort of fascination with dead bodies. That's weird. I swear, this place is going to drive us all batty. To think there'd be a corpse like this so close by. Hmm? You're shaking. What happened to Moshida? Big brother's gone away somewhere. <laughs> it's okay, Yuka. Don't cry. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, let's cry in the room with the dead body. Kawaii I don't trust you. You're weird. Poor thing. Come with me. I'll help you find him. You're so creepy, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I'll be okay. I'll search for him by myself. This is the second time we're seeing him alone with a dead body. Uh, excuse me. Hey, hey. She's not breathing. Her eyes have hollow appearance to them, yet still retain a tiny echo of life and reflect a palpable sense of terror. Almost seems as if she could snap out of it at any moment, stand up and walk away. The corpse is so fresh, simply being in its presence is disquieting. Why are you following me? I kind of wanted to catch me, but I- you know what? No, I- I don't- I don't want to do that. Thank you, bye! Why is he being weird? Why is he being weird? This is weird. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, this is the art room. Whoa, what the frick? Ah. Oh. Ew. What did you turn into? A little black shadow liquid. Nasty. I don't like that. Um, okay. Is he still following us in this hall, or is he just in that room? He's probably staying in that room taking photos, little creep. Uh, uh, okay. I guess we'll go back down. I feel like I'm going to burst. That's really bad, Yuka! Come on! The fallen cabinet is blocking your path. Ah, uh, You can actually burst your- blurst? You can actually burst your bladder if you hold it for too long. Which is super, super dangerous. And obviously very lethal. But Yuka, Yuka's fine. Yuka's very determined, apparently. Here we go, Mochida. Is he still here? No, he's gone. Where did he go? Gosh, she's so creepy. Oh, he's there! Hey! I I'm gonna go save, and I kind of want him to catch me. I want to see what happens. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna kill me? No, wait. You think he killed that girl? Is, is that like, is that what the surprise is gonna be? Is that he actually killed that girl, take photos of her? I 
doubt it. We didn't get her name tag, I just realized, either. I have to hide? What? Where are we hiding? Hide here? Is that Mushida? Big brother, I'm scared. Ooh. Hey! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You don't know if it okay. Um well doesn't seem like a particularly viable hiding spot. I uh uh I was uh the faucet makes unpleasantly thick sounding glug glug when the handles turn. Don't mind me! Oh shoot! Your an old drain is making sputtering sounds as if it's ready to spew with sundry content all over the Okay, yeah, 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 not no time. What was I am I dead? Is this is this my death? Is this my death? I don't know what you want me to do. I'm sorry. I'm so I Ma'am. 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 I'm ma'am. I did I make the wrong move? I don't want to do that all over again. Please, please have mercy. Please, yeah! Big brother! Yuka! Yuka! <gasps> oh, Yuka! Is that you? <gasps> Help me! Save me, big brother! Oh my gosh, please. No! He's still in the stupid other dimension. <sighs> Where'd you go? Well, we're safe. How fun was that? I know, I know, I know, I know. There's not really much I can do. But maybe since she was... Maybe since she was out... Th she was following us in the bathroom. Is she not here anymore? Nope, she's still here. What the frick? Can I go past her? No. I don't really know what, where you want me to go. I'm just kind of repeating the same thing as going back forward. It doesn't really seem very productive. I'm trying to be productive over here. Trying to get Yuka away. Up a place, a place to be happy. This is unhappy. Okay. Um... I mean, like, honestly, like, what, am I supposed to read some papers? Did some papers change? Well, I'm not doing that right now. I don't feel like that even matters. I feel like that's like a little- HEY! Who are you? Go oh, I'm terribly sorry. Who are you? That is not your brother. Open your eyes. Brother, you lied. <laughs> You lied to me. You said you wouldn't leave me by myself. Yeah, that's not your big brother. Very different. Oh, you're creepy looking. I don't like you. Are you injured? Oh, now she realizes. That's not my big brother. I'm so sorry. I'm... My name is Yuka Machida. So. Boku wa Kizami Yuya. Byakudan Koto Gakko no Nina. Eleventh grader. Mine's Yuya Kizami. I'm an eleventh grader at Bia ba uh, Bayakudan Senior High. I tried. Yuka chan to it tane. Kimimo Sachiko san no. Yuka, was it? Were you also spirited away here? Kindan no machinai de Koko ni tojiko me rareta no kai. Oh, after performing the forbidden Sachiko charm? How do you not know, Yuka? Uh, I don't know. She's shy, is that why? Let's see. Given that you called me Big Brother a moment ago, I assume he's come here with you? Plenty of other people. Oh my gosh, don't you dare cry in front of him. Oh my gosh. You got- I was- I was feeling bad for you, and now you're back to whiny baby mode and I can't handle it. Oh, what was that? Hmm, you poor girl. 
I've also become separated from my little sister and am presently searching for her. How convenient! What a coincidence! Your little sister is in here? It's totally not a manipulation tactic at all! She is. If you'd like, you may accompany me. I'll look for your big brother along the way. In a place like this, after all, the living should stick together as much as possible. Your poor sister is probably off somewhere crying right now, just as you are. I don't trust you. I simply must find her, so what do you say? Will you join the hunt? The hunt? That's so weird! Why would you say that? Oh, you got you're so manipulable. Um, yes, please. Help me find my big brother. I will. Fear not. I'm certain we'll come we'll cross his path. Oh, hey, where where you ya? Hey, we're Kizami. That's cool. That's cool. We're so cool with our little uh shirt over our shoulder. We're so cool. All right, can we? I'm gonna try. Let's go across here now. I'm assuming it's different. Yeah, it's different. Well, we can at least go across because I don't see any. There's how many times does it want me to like rerun this school? Does this floor look different again? I don't know. I always think this floor looks different every single time. It's like the floors or the walls look different. Um. Okay, so I guess we're just looking around again. Yippee. I'm looking. I'm looking. We can always go back up to Moshida, I guess, too. Or not Moshida, where uh, Morishige was. Let's see if he's still there. Did this up here change at all? Nope. I mean, does he climb over? Is he brave enough? Every cabinet is collapsed on the floor. It's too risky. Ah. Yes. Well, not getting through with this in our way, so... <coughs> wow! So strong! Tanaka. Oh, it broke. My. That wasn't expected. What? A whole new area! That's fun! He's a big strong man. Big strong man who can lift big strong heavy cabinets. Got a new ability. Oh, body. There's a skeletal corpse with bleach white bones sprawled across the floor here. Lying atop what remains of his clothes is a student ID name tag. Akihiko. I didn't get to read that last part, but we got another name tag. Yippee. Name tag. Yippee. Yeah, want to move this one? There's a picture of the four dead children here. Okay. What the frick is that? I'm sorry, no comment? No comment! No comment on like the very like fresh... Strangely, the classroom itself seems to be absent. There's no door. Hall windows only show a black void. That's not even a classroom! What is this black void of coming out of that person? Who are you? We don't talk about you. Sorry. We're, we're not interested, apparently. Ugh! Ew! Based on the size, this appears to be the corpse of a middle schooler. There's a student ID name tag attached to the tattered remains of her uniform. Yuki Suruta. There remains a, a very tall individual lying atop the remains of his clothes. Is a student ID name tag. Hato Suro. Very nice. Very nice. We're learning a bunch of people. Um, I can't believe we can't talk about that weird body across the freaking room. That bothers me so much. Oh, is this the red door? That's a fresh body. What? Oh, it's her. These are the remains of the female student who clearly suffered a blow to the head. The skull's cracked open and there's dry blood everywhere. The broken glasses, as well as a student ID name tag, resting next to her mangled corpse. Emi Urabe. That was the one that we were seeing at the beginning. Okay. Custodian's closet. Don't let's fix the wall. It won't open. There's an erratic noise, like the a TV static coming from within. That's very interesting that we got to see her, though. Um, you know what? We did get a lot of name tags. I'll f once I find a save spot, I'll read them off, because I feel like I want to... 
I want to know how they all die because that's just like so much fun and I wish I knew how the other one died because that seems super creepy. I guess we'll go over here. Yeah, is it bucket time? Yuka? Yuka, do you like the bucket? It's like a toilet seat if you really think about it, Yuka. Like if you really think about it, it's just a toilet bowl that just can't flush. So it's just gonna sit there. Bucket! No, she's not. She's not there yet. She has to hold it a little bit longer. Give it an hour. Give it an hour and she'll try again. It is time to read. No, I don't want to exit. I want to read. Name tag list. Here we go. Chapter three. Oh, we're three bodies away. So we have Takayuki Muramura. Suicide upon discovering little sister's lifeless remains. Jeez. Private school. Nayo Takahashi. Was it away from dehydration? Some of these we reread, but I kind of forgot. School cracked open the blunt instrument. Suffer a severe in injury to ab abdomen. Blood out. Succumbed to darkening and died in anguish. Oh. No, we already read that one, I think. Start to death while searching for friends. Start to death after desperate search for friend. Start to death while searching for little sister. There's a lot of little sisters here. Maybe I shouldn't uh, be so suspicious of him. Took a blow to the head for friend. School split open. Dang. Found note with little sister's remains. Start to death while mourning. Jeez. Wounded during earthquake. Blood out. With it away from dehydration. Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument. 16! Like, the, it's crazy! The youngest is 15. And Yuka's even younger than that, too. Which is really scary, in my opinion. Poor Yuka. But, um, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I guess we're gonna search the second wing. And find maybe his little sister. And hopefully find Satoshi. But, um, yeah, just thank you so much for watching and enjoying this very long series. I appreciate you guys truly for all the support that you bring into the series. And I hope you're enjoying it. And, um, yeah, have a blessed day, guys. And just thank you so much. Bye!